Hello Pots Poppets and welcome back to the channel. So yeah, we're going to get creative today. It's another smaller DIY, probably the smallest DIY I've ever done, but I've always wanted to make this and of course I've got to do it with you guys. So we have a fancy jar here that I can see licorice snaps going in. You've seen the thumbnail, I don't know why I'm doing this. So licorice snaps are a honey juice sweet treat with a bit of a bitter bite. We see these in, I can't remember which film it is of the Harry Potters, but they're in Dumbledore's office. Oh, it's gonna bug me not knowing. I'll know after, because it'll come to me when I've finished filming, won't it? Goblet of fire. But they're in Dumbledore's office and Dumbledore leaves Harry for a minute and he says, you know, that he can help himself to the licorice snaps, but be careful. They're a wee bit sharp. And they do bite him. Now, I want to make these today and we're going to put them in here, but we're also going to make a fancy label for the jar as well. Because it's like they're in here being sold at Honey Dukes in this thing. Okay, so we're going to make a nice label as well. But we'll start off by making the licorice snaps. They're kind of, I'm, I'm going to, I've seen a couple of people make these. But, no, I, I, one person? Maybe two people. And we know what I'm like. I like to make things that aren't everywhere on the internet. And I haven't found many of them, to be quite honest. But I am making these out of black clay, um, oven baked clay. And they kind of look like little tadpoles. Um, with mouths and teeth now they are small like literally like tadpole sized so I don't know if I'll be able to do the teeth but I'll give it a good go but we'll do their mouths open if not um, and I'll give them two little eyes as well little dints for eyes but we're just going to make loads of these things out of black clay <laughs> and whilst they're in the oven we can move on to the label but yeah I'm excited to make this because it has been on my list I've had this jar for quite some time now and this was a charity shop find. I do like my charity shop finds. And I've always had in mind that I wanted to make this a licorice snap jar. So today we're doing it. We are doing this today. Finally. Before we get started though guys on this DIY, if this is the first time you are seeing this face, hello and welcome to the channel. If you love anything magical and fun, then this is the place for you. Join the magic and mayhem, hit subscribe, because I told you to. Also a massive, a massive, massive thank you to my channel members. You guys are awesome. If you're interested in becoming a member, it's $2.99 a month. You get behind the scenes, you know exactly what I'm doing before things are even put on YouTube. <laughs> Um, you'll hear from me once a week um, and we just have a chat and stuff and it's really good and all money goes back and help, it just helps me keep this channel running and it helps me to get creative um, more so for the bigger DIYs that I do like I don't know if you can see Hagrid's Hut and there's a wizard's tower back there I've also recently done a Harry Potter miniature cabinet with all different replicas in that I made um, yeah it just it just helps but if you don't want to become a member, that's also absolutely fine. No pressure. Okay. So yeah, let's get going and uh, set up. I'll get. I need to find the black clay because I haven't got a bloody clue. So I am using a Fimo clay, Fimo Fimo. I don't. Um, is, if, don't know if that's how you pronounce it. So it says here to bake at 110 degrees Celsius or 230 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. So I am gonna, I've not worked with this one yet. I've worked with Das Clay, Sculpey, and some one that didn't have a label on, but all of them have been fine. So um, yeah, let's open this up and have a look at this stuff. Now I used to work with air dry clay a lot and I'm very new to using this clay, oven baked clay, but I am very much so enjoying working with oven baked clay. You get a lot more time to work with oven baked clay. Air dry clay, as soon as you take it out of the pack, it starts to dry, hence air dry clay. Whereas this stuff does not dry until you put it in the oven, which is absolutely awesome. The only thing with this stuff is you have to knead it because it's quite hard. Um, before you use it, but that's fine. Other people have tools like, um, oh, what are they called? You know, like the pasta rollers where you put flattens. Do you know what I mean? The rollers. A lot of people I've seen use them. I don't have one, so <laughs> we use our fingers. And I do have a rolling pin, which I haven't got out, but if I'm struggling, I'll get that out. And you just gotta knead it and make it soft. It doesn't, it just takes, it just think of the workout on your fingers and thumbs, guys. It's amazing. Actually, this clay is a lot softer 
than the ones that I did use. I know you can get different ones where it's like soft clay, hard clay. This one doesn't say anything from what I can see. It just says modeling clay, oven bake. It doesn't say whether it's soft or hard clay, but it is very soft, which is awesome. So it's not gonna take much kneading, but um, our dust clay is very crumbly. Um, it needs fine and it works fine, but this, I'm, I'm not going to say this has been my favourite actually so far. Scorpy's not too bad, but it, um, it was very, very hard to knead. That's been quite easy and it's done lock. So what we're going to do anyway, moving on, we're gonna, we need to make these tab poles and I do need, let me get my craft knife ready, because we need to make a little opening for a mouth. So we just need to make a sort of head. I also need my jar for reference on sizes as well but I take some of that off the, oh, off the bottom okay so I really just need to make a tadpole shape and that's it so we've got like a little tadpole shape here with a little head and a tail so I'm happy with that there's not much to it it's quite sticky this clay which is good actually for if you're adding things because my other clays that I've used aren't that sticky um I think and uh sticky clay like this you are probably best putting like a baking paper down so it doesn't stick I always put it on baking paper on a tray in the oven um but I definitely will with this because it is quite sticky but because of what I'm doing and I'm not rolling clay out it doesn't matter so much I don't think but right I'm going to try and make a mouth I'm showing you the best I can guys but I'm having to concentrate let's do a little dint for a mouth and open that mouth up so I'm just moving my knife up and down hold on so there we have a mouth for our little dab pole there he is look so oh I need my dotting tool hold on okay I have my dotting tool so we're just going to do two little eyes I'm just making sure you're seeing as well so one two okay i quite like this <laughs> it's cute but don't let that fool you they're very sharp they're very very sharp now how am i going to do teeth if i do some let me have a look no i'm not going to be able to do teeth guys because these are so small but i do like that i do like that and it does resemble a licorice snap no Licorice, licorice yeah licorice snap it does resemble a licorice snap look at it just stuck to my thumb lot it's so sticky but that's good i do like that so i now need to go off and make lots and lots of these so i think i might actually stick a harry potter on on netflix while i watch this uh, while i make these and it'll just uh, help pass the time but yeah get ready for a time lapse of these beauties we have an army of licorice snaps here i've kind of done it so that their tails that well, whatever you call that bit we're going to call it the tail sort of bends in different ways some are looped upwards some are to one side some are to the other some are even a bit straight one only one actually is straight <laughs> oh well oh no there is a couple there is a couple but i've done 40 and i think looking at this jar oh damn I think 40 is going to be enough. I do think it's going to be enough. I originally wanted to do 50, but I don't want to overpack the jar. And to be quite honest, with 40, I think I might be overpacking it as it is. So what I need to do now is clear everything up, put my clay away, and get this in the oven 
while this is in the oven we're gonna sort out a nice label for the jar okay guys so the oven's warming up and i thought right i'm gonna come straight on the computer to try and find a label for licorice snaps right or at least find some inspiration if i have to make my own you'll never guess what i found hold on <laughs> they're the same as mine so licorice snaps on ebay fantastic prices licorice snaps ebay uh etsy etsy okay so <laughs> these aren't the ones I saw the ones I saw they had teeth <laughs> so they're like the same as mine that is absolutely insane that has made me chuckle so much but anyway I just thought I'd show you that because I find that really weird that they're exactly the same basically they're really cool they sell them in what I did see how many oh set of 10 I've made 40 for my jar. But yeah, let's um, try and figure out a label, shall we? Okay, so after looking for quite a while, um, obviously not that long because there is still 15 minutes left for the clay and that takes half an hour altogether. I have, I'm gonna use this, right? So it's literally just found on the internet and I've just moved it over to here and I'm gonna print it off out of Word. So what I've got is I've got these little tag things. So what I'm going to do is cut obviously that out, stick it to there, and I'm going to have to write licorice snaps on there, which I find okay because to be quite honest, with Harry Potter and potion bottles, for instance, with the labels on there, I do quite like handwritten things on there. So I quite like the thought of handwriting licorice snaps on there just to give it some sort of, do you know what I mean? It just makes it authentic is that the right choice words i'm really rubbish those of you that know me know this see so yeah, i'm gonna print that out stick it on i'll probably write on it first stick it on that label and i cannot find twine for the life of me anywhere so i may have to pop to mother's and get some twine <laughs> My army of licorice snaps are out of the oven and I need to let them cool down now, but it shouldn't take them too long. Let me show you what I did with the label. So I did find some white string and I have just tied the label to the jar. Once the licorice snap guys have all cooled down, we'll see how it looks with them in it. Huh, and then we'll move on to some fancy photographs of it so stick around for those but yeah let's let them cool and then we'll we'll see what they look like in the jar shall we okay so we have our army and they look so cool look at them they look amazing i love them i absolutely love them and they've all got different tails and their faces are slightly different because obviously with it being handmade they're not going to be all the same now i'm going to take this carefully off because this is still wet um, I am loving the label and let's stick them in let's stick them in and obviously they're all dried and just hard they've all cooled down and they're okay to just plonk in there now which is awesome I might have underestimated the size of this jar but let's have a look okay so it's not even half filled it it's not even half filled it, but that's fine because we can say this has already been bought and a lot of them have been eaten, but there are 40 in there, guys, 40, so you could probably make another 40. I might do that one day and fill it up, but for now, I am happy with it. <clears throat> They've already been bought and over half of the pot has been eaten. That is fine by me. Let's get that lid on so they don't escape. Okay, so stick around for the nice fancy photos that you're going to see in a moment. Please do, because I like doing that bit. 
hope you've all, I am going to say goodbye though now so I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope you've enjoyed this DIY just a nice simple one but it was very very fun to do um and yeah I will speak to you all in my next video bye potter puppets <laughs>